365 out of 365. What am I talking about? I'm saying this is episode number 365 of the year 2021 by God's good grace. I've been able to issue a podcast, to publish a podcast every single working day of the year. And I'm so proud of what I've done. I'm so grateful to God giving me the strength and the wisdom to be able to serve my world with only what I know. We're coming to a close of the year and we're also coming to a close of this series coincidentally. Well, we've been talking about discouragement and how we can navigate out of discouragement or how we can handle the idea of discouragement in our lives. It is interesting and I'm excited about this. I want to come to a close of this episode and when we do come to an end of this episode, we will be closing the series and in the next series, we're going to be talking about timelines and tracking in the new year 2022. But until then, stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to talk about different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Well, I want to take some time today and congratulate each and every person who has gone all the way up to the year 2022. And uh, you've seen life come, you've seen things come and things go, but guess what? You're still standing. You're still on your two feet. You might not have gotten where you want to go, but you're still on your two feet. And if you look around There's so much to be grateful for. In fact, if you force yourself to be grateful for things, you will be grateful that you have two eyes. At least you can see. At least you can hear, for sure, because you're listening to me. At least you can speak. You're breathing. You have hope. You have peace. You have direction in your life. If you don't have any one of those things, there is still hope. There is still a reason as to why you're alive. And I want to come to a close of this episode, this series, where I've been discussing how to circumnavigate a discouragement even as you are pursuing your purpose. Let me do a recap. We say that you need to do some, you need to have some perspectives in life when you are pursuing your purpose and you want to overcome discouragement. The first perspective is to focus on individuals and not crowds. The second perspective is to focus on building your momentum and stop looking at the output or the payment out of your purpose. The third perspective is to focus on your growth instead of focusing on the competition. The fourth perspective, which we talked about yesterday, is to focus on your gains and not what is out there that you are yet to consolidate. Those perspectives help you not to be discouraged, or even if discouragement comes, they put it in the line of good perspective, and therefore you can continue going on without a hitch, because we've said already that discouragement is going to be part and parcel of the human psyche. You cannot have a vaccine of 
over discouragement. Even the Son of God Himself, even God Himself was discouraged. You might ask me, but how, when did God get discouraged? Remember the time when the Bible recalls that it repented God that He created man. He got sad, he got broken, heartbroken that he created us. He got discouraged. There's very many scriptures that say God wondered that there was no one. God looked around, he was looking for a man to stand. He found that there was no one. He got discouraged. But there's a way that you can be able to overcome discouragement and it's just by a change of perspective. And today, number five, if you're going to overcome discouragement, you're going to focus on taking a small break. And I need to learn that myself. Even as we come to a close of this year, 2021, we need to learn to take some time and pause. Stop all the traffic. Know that you are not God. Know that it is okay. Stop micromanaging the micromanager and micromanaging everything around your life and micromanaging the projects and everything. Walk away for a minute. Come on, put it down. Get some breather. You are discouraged because you don't have rest. You are discouraged because you are depleted in, in, in your emotions. You are depleted in your body, your physical body, depleted in your mind. And all these things are happening because you have not rested. You have not taken some time to rest. Probably that is what you need. It can be such a daunting task to keep up your pursuit of purpose while discouraged. In fact, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do the thing that you're passionate about when you are discouraged, when you're low. Because let me tell you, when you're discouraged, you are not thinking properly. I tell you, you are not reasoning well. You have illusions surrounding you. You are sad, you are down, you are low. That is the worst place to be when you're working. Therefore, walk away for a season. If it's a day, if it's a month, if it's a week. But walk away. I mean, you're going to come back to it. I'm not saying, re I mean, leave the whole thing and put it down and run away from it and close shop. No, we're not talking about closing shop. We're talking about focusing on taking a small break. So much a small break that you're able to recuperate. You're able to get a new perspective. Able to get new energies, able to get new focus, able to have a revitalization of your mind, of your body, of your spirit, and of your psyche. So take the break. Take some time out, but do not give up altogether. I'm not negating the fact that results, are, you know, and impact matter. Numbers matter. Yeah, I know. But there's one number that is much more important than all these numbers you are chasing. It's number one. That number one represents you and your health and what your vision is and what your purpose is. If that number one is not there, then forget about all the other numbers. You count. You matter. You are the SI unit. You're the core. You're the ground zero of all these things. So work on you. Take some time. I'm asking you to hang in there one more day, one more time, one more week. Let's see what comes out of this break. It's far much better than quitting. Don't quit. Because the proposition of a discouraged soul is to quit altogether. Instead of quitting, flip it. Walk away. Just for a day. Or just for a week. Or maybe... Depending even just for a month. Maybe in adverse circumstances just for a year. This is what Victor E. Frankel did. He had a manuscript just before. I mean, he, he had the idea of coming up with a book just before the harrowing experience of the Holocaust came. He did not bench it all together. He had hope and he lived through the Holocaust. And then after... The Holocaust, it took him years. But after the Holocaust, it took him 90 days, I think. Is it 90 days or 9 days? 9 days, I should say. 
maybe nine hours, I don't know, to write that manuscript, the bestseller, Man's Search for Meaning. At times, the break is just the moment that you are about to quit. But stay put in the break instead of quitting altogether because of discouragement. So, as the new year begins in 2022, learn to have these perspectives that can help you to but trace yourself against discouragement. The perspective of focus on individuals instead of crowds. The perspective number two of focusing on your momentum instead of results and payment. Number three, the perspective of focusing on yourself and your growth instead of your competition. Number four, the perspective of focusing on your gains instead of what you are yet to achieve entertain and lastly focus on getting some rest instead of quitting altogether because of discouragement i wish you all the best all the success in this world that you're willing to work for until next year bye bye and god bless you Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.